Anyhow, coming back to this one. Ash-Shawkani rahimahullah writes, أي بذل meaning this ayah means بذل ما له في وجوه الخير he he just gave up his money just kept exhausting his wealth in all faces of good meaning all kinds of good he could just he found he was looking for things to give good you know good give his wealth to it was like you know someone who really wants to make it big in this dunya and they say man I got some money I don't know how to use it so they go to their business buddies got any good business ideas where should I be putting my money right now. The market's kind of bad, where should I invest? Right? So there's this idea of putting your money in a good place. Or finding, you know, what's, what's called diversifying your portfolio. Right? That's called diversifying your portfolio. So you don't put all your money in one, you know, investment. You put a little here, put a little here, put a little here. What is this person doing? Ashokani uh, rahimahullah comments, fi wujuhil khair. All kinds of faces of good things. He's like, maybe I should put a little here, a little here, a little here, a little here. So I have this diversified portfolio when I go to Allah Azza wa Jalla. It's incredible this mindset that if you direct it towards Allah, it brings a yield, and people direct it towards dunya to bring a yield for themselves in this dunya. Anyhow, Asan al Ra'i also offers some, a really remarkable insight on the ayah. He says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى تَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّهُ اتَّقَى الْبُخْلِ He says he gave and he was afraid. It illustrates he was afraid of being cheap. That's why he gave. He gave and he, as he was afraid, meaning while becomes haliya. He gave as he was afraid, meaning he was afraid of becoming those who are cheap, who will hold on. My teacher used to give this example about our relationship with Allah. When we give, is it really our money we're giving? Is it really ours? No. But we know, think, do, I don't know if I've told you this experiment with your kids before, try it, it's a lot of fun. You get a lollipop, you get a candy, something nice, right? And you're about to eat it, and your child sees it. What does your child say? Can I have it? Can I have it? Dad, can I please have it? Just a little. And he said, okay, okay. You can hold it. You can, okay, you can have it. Just a little piece. You give it to them. Just to hold. And then you ask for it back. Can I have it back? What do they say? <laughs> Mine. All of us, within seconds it becomes yours. Allah asks us for money. Allah asks us, qardan hasana, give me a loan. Beautiful loan. He, gives, he says, let me tell you a business transaction, the tijaratin. He gives us all these terminologies. Why? Because we start believing what? It's ours. It's ours. It's not his, it's ours. SubhanAllah. We start thinking, we're the owners. That's what happens with money. Money is the, the man is the essential thing that makes you start thinking, you're in charge. And who have you replaced psychologically? Maybe in your aqidah you still say, La ilaha illallah. Maybe in your salah you still say Allahu Akbar. But what is your heart testifying to every time you look at the account balance? What's your heart testifying to? Where is your heart going? It's already testified that I own this wealth. This is mine. This belongs to me. Right? This is the attitude that Allah is striking at the heart. أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى He gave and he was afraid. Afraid he might start thinking this belongs to him. So he gave lots of it. He gave lots of it. The other thing also that's really interesting is, you put a lot of money in a sure deal. You put a little bit of money when you're not so sure if it's gonna, you know, maybe it's a good investment, I'm not so sure. So I'm not gonna put all my savings in it, I'll put a little bit. But if it's a guaranteed investment, what do you do? Like guaranteed, guaranteed. You put it in. You say, Man, this is the way to go. It's a sure shot. It's good real estate that's coming up, the area is coming up. I'm gonna buy in this, pro- land, this property, this, this area. I'm gonna invest in this thing or that thing. Why? Because it's a sure deal. So the amount we give increases when what, what we start believing? That it's a sure deal. And the more you like, mm, there are other better places this could be spent, the less you give. Right? And so this person fears, before my other instinct kicks in and I say, no, 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 maybe I shouldn't give this much, before he even gets to that point, he just gives, أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى This is his attitude. 